Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Uh, before we jump into today's video, I of course have a very special announcement. So you guys may have seen the last couple days on my socials and on my YouTube channel, I've been hyping up this logo right here. And this is a project I've been working on the last couple months behind the scenes and it's finally come to fruition and we're ready to launch. And what is it? It is essentially the launch of my very own Fortnite team. And uh, I don't really want to do too much of the explanation here. I'd rather just let the trailer play for itself. So I've been planning on making a Fortnite team for a while now. And I thought, what better players to pick on my first roster than a whole bunch of OC talent? And that's all you're going to get from me here. If you guys want to see the whole launch trailer, the players have signed, and what we're going to be doing with the team, head on to the description and click the link to the Team Power YouTube channel. That's the name of the team. Team Power. I'm going to leave it with you guys. Check it out and then come back to today's video because it's an exciting announcement. Let's get into the video. Today, everybody, we're going to be ranking all Fortnite weapons, current and vaulted. We're going to put them on this list right here, go through the best and to the worst. Of course, we're going to be starting with the God weapon at the top. Broken weapons that really just make the game unfair, kind of in a way that they're that broken. S tier, which is just like, you know, really good, but not dumb broken good. And then we've got practical, you know, normal good ARs that were, you know, good to use, but not great. Then next up, we have off spawn viable. Not a great gun, but off spawn. You can get it to work to maybe get you to the next stage of the mid game. And then we have big yikes, a section where you should never use this gun, like ever. And then last but not least, we have who signed this off because realistically, why is this in the game? Now, although I have all these six categories, I am still gonna rank them higher if I found them fun or if they were just like revolutionary to like the BR mode. Like if something that got added just changed the format of the game, I'm gonna rank that high because at the end of the day, I think Fortnite's job is to just add things that change and make it cool without making it broken. And those need to go up higher on the list because fun, awesome, cool weapons is exactly what you love to see. Before we jump in though, Please do remember, this is just my opinion. We're just trying to have a little bit of fun here before the next season starts. You guys really like the Fortnite season tier list, so I'm doing this. Also, if you guys want to see me make another tier list with all like the items like grenades and vehicles and stuff, let me know. Uh, 100k likes and we'll do that tier list as well. Smash that like button. Also, 60% of you aren't subscribed, so subscribe. All right, then let's get this party started, shall we? First things first, we got the Duelies. Now, when these bad boys were added into the game, they were super dope. I think they came in as purple and legendary. They weren't really good enough to have the legendary name, and they were later changed to purple and blue, which I still think was a stretch. It was more of a green and blue kind of color weapon, I think. You know, it was kind of practical, but... I'd probably put this closer to off spawn viable. Yeah, it was like something you'd use off spawn. You wouldn't really carry it to the mid game or late game, <sighs> but they felt powerful if you got lucky with the bloom, but that's pretty much every gun in the game. Next up, we got the great blue triple burst rifle. Oof, nobody likes this gun at all. Like, it, it goes to off spawn viable for sure. It's just you'd hate to pick it up, man. To carry that in mid game is a yikes. But it's nostalgic and it's cool in its own right. And, it, you know, sometimes you'd hit that triple bust and you'd be like, oh, this gun's lit. And then you'd never hit anything again. And then you'd, yeah. I don't know. When it was early on back in like season one to five, there was a bit where like the blue burst was kind of good. But bit of a yikes, but not a big yikes. Alrighty, next up we have the revolver. And like, I know my tier list kind of is like in their own little category of like what they do in the game. But I also want to, you know, rank them on how fun they were. And I think the revolver was such a fun gun that got added to the game. It was kind of practical late game, but not really. In pubs it was, in competitive it wasn't. I actually really liked the revolver as a weapon. I, I had a lot of fun with it. And I remember that like historic ninja clip when they had the sniper only game mode and he just editing doors and killing people that was like peak fortnite that was so much fun um i'm gonna have to put this into practical like i, I liked the gun it's fun to play with and i enjoyed it all right next up we got the zombie hunter crossbow which was like you'd get it for like double or triple damage on zombies when they came out it just wasn't that Ooh, it was awful as a weapon to use in combat. Ugh, and it came with zombies. Uh, it wasn't that fun either. I'm gonna chuck it big, yikes. Like, crossbow already wasn't too hot, so it kind of downgraded something that already wasn't great, in my opinion. So for that reason, I'm, I'm gonna chuck it on big, yikes. Famous. Now, I remember when the Famous came out originally, it was like Tilted Tower vibes still in the game. But of course, now in chapter two, it is the burst assault rifle or the greater blue one. When it came to the game, it 
was practical. Now the blue burst is like practical, but it, it's kind of very much so off spawn viable still. The org is such a superior gun with how the return to center speed is with the burst, whereas these ones aren't. So for that reason, off spawn viable. This one, one of my favorites, guided missile launches. Now this is just like such a revolutionary item to the game. It has so much fun, awesome moments. I'm Chuck, I'm not even gonna hesitate. It goes in S tier. It, it wasn't broken, I don't think. I'm not really thinking with a competitive mindset for these guns. I'm thinking pubs, but still a little bit of both. I couldn't imagine what it would be like in competitive right now. Uh, but I do think it's just like such a cool revolutionary gun for a BR mode that's never been done before. I just think it's gotta go S tier. Like, I don't think it was broken, especially when they changed the damage values to under 100, definitely not broken. And just a cool, gun item to the game that I think definitely deserves near top of the list. I, and it's not even in the game anymore. Not even creative, no gamer, no LTM. So I'd love to see that back because that was such a cool gun. All right, next up, we got the flint knock. Another one of my personal favorites. I always call it like the most balanced gun added to the game. It wasn't broken and it was still cool. Like it was fun. You could hit awesome clips with it, just taking height. It was like the jetpack, but it wasn't cheap. It didn't feel cheap to take high ground with the flint knock because of the long reload and stuff. And then of course you go for the headshot damage multiplier and you see all those cool clips people like shoot themselves off like height which i think i've done at least 20 times i'm gonna chuck this one in s tier just because cool fun gun weapon in the game you love to see you just absolutely love to see it all right next up we got the heavy ak and this one's kind of hard because when it first came out it is completely different to what it is now kind of like the famas when it first came out it was blue to gold and the gold ak at the time was doing it nuts damage they nerfed it and it was still decent like during world cup era and then now it's ugh, like the purple and legendary ones are decent i'd probably say off spawn viable now it was but it was good before so i'm gonna try and draw a line in the middle it was s tier at a point i'll put it at practical for now because the blue one in the game right now is practical and then for the gold one i'd say still practical it, it's not s tier yet next up we got the normal assault rifle and the scar we'll do both at the same time considering they are the same gun for the normal ar it is it is cookie cutter it is your assault rifle it is your bread and butter for that it's got to go practical and i would just for like how iconic this weapon is the scar it's like the feeling and like the nostalgia of just getting a gold scar and just being like all right boys it's over for him i got gold scar like it's just got that history and everything and for that reason i have to chuck it into s tier like it is just iconic fortnite it is the best assault rifle you can get minus mythic scar it's just s tier it just is so yeah we'd love to see it all right next up scoped assault rifle oof i'm probably gonna put this in off spawn viable i don't know what the new damage values are because they have changed the gun and the weapon model but they haven't added it back to br they just chucked it in spy games i don't know what it's at right now but it used to be like kind of off spawn viable you'd rarely run it late game mid game and i didn't really like it at first it was broken when they first added it but yeah, off spawn viable, I think is uh, about right for me. Next up, we got the suppressed scar. I don't know what they did because before chapter two, back in chapter one, I used to love the suppressed scar and they took it out. And I was like, damn, like I you used to just beam kids. And now I I've used it a couple times when they brought it back to the agency. I don't beam kids anymore. I don't know if they changed a couple values somewhere, but it just doesn't feel the same as it did. And I now all the time drop this for like the equivalent non-suppressed assault rifle, even the AK sometimes. So for that reason, Reason, uh, I'm gonna chuck it into. Oh, it's almost border. It's borderline practical. It's not really fun. I'm, I'm off so viable. Like it's just not that. Not that hot. It really isn't. Also, another reason why the shadow bases are way better than the ghost bases because we want suppressed ARs. Next up, tactical AR. Now this came out around combat shotgun era, so you got to think of that. And a lot of people were trying to have as many slots for heals and shadow bombs and just other utility. So having just a shotgun attack AR for mid to long range, and then the combat for close range was kind of like the world cup meta at one point i liked it but obviously it didn't have that long range capability that the ar did but still good i'll check it in practical it was a nice cool smg ar john wick vibes love to see it i'm not sure if this ever featured in competitive uh because i didn't play competitive in season x but the batman grappler was 
serious. Like, that did some damage. Like, this thing was so cool. I remember using this in the Showdown Under, because obviously we still had that kind of competitive kill race vibes. Because obviously we still had that competitive elimination race where it was, you know, trying to get around the map as quick as possible. And Batman Grappler was legit god weapon for that tournament. Just a super fun item. I'm always down for mobility items. So I'm going to chuck it in S tier, honestly. It was such a good item and weapon that, well, it didn't really hurt, but it just utility. Really cool. And, you know, little Batman collab. So I'm going to chuck S tier for that one. OG Boombo. Like, this is Boombo when it first came out in season eight. Oof. Oof. I, it had so many uses in competitive and then just in pubs, just bang, tagging a kid for 100. Sometimes I think the crit was 150 for the head or it could have been 125. I could be wrong. But I know the base damage was 100, which was so broken. And it only used shotgun bullets. Like I'd have to put that in our first god weapon. Like as it was, I don't know if it's changed now. I think the damage values might be the same as the mythic one in game. But that was just, that was god weapon. And yeah, that... I lo loved that one. Um, you could also combine it with like the heavy snipe bow like they do with the mythic one now. And you could just tag everyone in the box for 100 and it was just so broken to us. All right, next up, probably one of the biggest yikes items I've had on the list just yet. Burst SMG. Oh, just something about it, man. Like I hated this gun. It was off spawn viable. Give it that. But man, was it just something about the recoil and just the way it shot just made it so frustrating to use. So many times I just shoot kids and either just triple hit them. It's, every burst rifle is kind of the same. I'm gonna chuck it under big yikes. I, I didn't like it at all. Didn't hit for me at all. So chuck them in big yikes. Combat shotgun. Now this one is interesting because at first when it came out, it was broken and didn't really uh, broken in the sense that it, the hit reg didn't work. But over time in the couple weeks after uh, season nine launch, people were getting used to it because they took rid of the pump and now this was in the game. And I had a lot of fun playing with it. I think it was a couple months ago where we actually had the combat shotgun back in the Wix bounty for chapter two and it was just so much fun playing with the combat shotgun again now i'd have to chuck this at s tier it's not broken but it was like a must-have if you were playing any competitive game mode such a good gun and just rewarded accuracy a lot and it's going to be interesting i wonder if for the next world cup we have combat shotgun back in rotation or if they go for pump meta again it's gonna be interesting because it's two different games of fortnite all right next up we got p90 oh boy i know i talked about this in the last kind of tier video but when it came out oof it melted absolutely melted people and then in chapter two season one i'd still write it down as a god weapon i think with controller going rampant the start of like chapter two like p90s were just your worst enemy and uh obviously they're out of the game now i think i'd chuck p90 in god weapon especially if you're a controller like just consistently a good gun. Best in slot, I'd say. Because it didn't even have bad range too. So yeah, P90 God Weapon, no doubt. Next up, we got the normal crossbow with the scope. I didn't like it, but I didn't like it that much. Like I I'd say off spawn viable. It was kind of fun and cool when it came out. It was like that silent sniper. Yeah, I don't know. Just mad. Mm, I personally didn't like it that much. I wouldn't call it big yikes because the other one was a downgraded version of this, but felt cool to hit headshots with and get that 197, I think it was. It was almost a max hit. It had its moments, but I definitely don't want to see it back in the game. Alrighty, Deadpool pistols. All right, now I don't know what to do with these bad boys because I have like a vendetta against these pistols because it makes me mad why they're so bad they're a mythic item and every mythic is dumb broken except this one and this one's got a brand behind it i have to put this under who signed this off like they suck no one runs these mid to late game in chapter two and they're probably going to be gone next season because i imagine that's when like the kind of brand license expires they might come back as just like mythic pistols but if they do they gotta see a buff somewhere because they're they're absolutely just awful uh, the healing siphon mechanic is cool and for that i'd probably maybe chuck it back up to big yikes but i think just in general the fact that it never saw any kind of buff throughout the whole season because i think we need more variables in our meta it's very linear in the current meta of what is good and what is bad there isn't a lot of options i feel like this could have thrown a spanner into the works but instead it just use it off spawn on henchmen to get more shield if you have under a certain amount like that's all it was good for so for how underwhelming it was i might have to chuck that into who signed this off because that that should have a buff uh, by now. Actually, I'll chuck it into big yikes. I probably won't even use who signed this off because it sounds kind of rude to suggest that, but what's going on here?
All right, next up, double battle shotguns. Okay, so when these first came out, I thought they were the worst thing in the game. They just, the range at which they were good was so close, but in competitive Fortnite late game, I know that was kind of the meta to be so close to your enemies where you just get in their box. Because when you're in their box, it's good. And I think it's still good. They haven't really changed the values, I don't think. And the penalty for that high damage is, of course, that big reload time, similar to Flintnog. I'd chuck it into practical maybe s tier but i wouldn't chuck it into s tier because it hasn't been in competitive for so long that i don't know whether or not it would be s tier so no nah, i think it was still s tier i remember kids saying it was dumb broken and i think it is still broken so i'll leave it an s tier I, I think it was actually that good but i never really used it so i'm gonna put it in practical i didn't really find it that cool i'll put it in practical drum shotgun Oof, big yikes. Uh, well, kind of. Uh, everyone at first was scared of it being overpowered. I don't think it was overpowered by any means. It was gray to blue. It was kind of like, if you haven't seen a shotgun in the game, you use a drum shotgun. You'd maybe take this over a gray tack. So for that reason, I'll put it off spawn viable. Like, this wasn't a very enjoyable gun to play with. Uh, it broke walls decently well, but wasn't crazy about it by any means uh next up we have the normal drum gun so this obviously when it first came out in the game most overpowered gun we've seen in half a minute and then they nerfed it over time and it was still the most overpowered gun and then they vaulted it and then it came back and then it was back to the most overpowered gun the history of that and the fact that it is still good i think the current base stats just not in the game it's got to go into s tier i think the final nerf during the world cup kind of made it a little bit like not S tier and more practical, but the history of everything with the drum gun, I think we got to chuck it in S tier. It's almost like the scar in like the most iconic broken gun in the game. Drum gun, boys. All right, next up, we have the eggshell launcher. So this is like the grenade launcher that would come out in Easter, which I love this idea of like seasonal weapon events. I don't think we actually got it back this Easter, which kind of sucks. It was a fun item. The physics of where the explosion went were much different with the eggshells. Even more different than the snowball launchers because they were like not completely round. What's that called? Egg shaped, literally. So I'd have to chuck these into like practical. They were fun, cool grenade launches and you could stack them up to be s tier but i'll probably go practical all right now we got the star wars trooper laser thing on my bobber you couldn't ads this thing i don't think and, it, and even if you did i think it was just it, it didn't return to center at all cool seasonal like gun that they've added to the game not particularly viable i'd have to say off spawn viable if anything but like it just wasn't it wasn't good but it, it kind it wasn't meant to be good i don't think so i it was it was cool but it was fun and a cool item for what it was meant to be so that i can respect okay next up grappler we damn when we saw that trailer for the heist thing back in like what was it season five or season six that was like super dope we were like oh yeah hell yeah let's get this in the game now and it was a big thing in competitive I i'm gonna put it into s tier because it was just such a like necessary for competitive players during those seasons and it was really fun to play with uh you could get off height and you could try and grapple on something to cancel height like fall damage super cool like revolutionary definitely to the game i'm gonna chuck it in s tier really cool item and you'll see a reoccurring theme with a lot of the s tier items apart from like stuff that's just good is that i just respect epic and how they've like put it in the game and how it fits well into like the weapon economy and just like adds fun to the game instead of it just being a skill-based game like these things grappler flint knock guide and missile make fortnite what it is so that's why they rank higher for me and then next up we obviously have the mythic version of the grappler so this is what we've got in chapter two season three sorry season two who knows when we're gonna get season three but yeah this bad boy i think it goes without saying it's a god weapon and broken in competitive and i find it really interesting how mythics in competitive fortnite just it is it's weird it is interesting because it's like you know the players are doing a high risk high reward kind of thing where they're risking their early game to go fight the boss and other players to come out on top with a mythic item but late game it's just like you grapple grapplers to height and takes height and then it's it feels cheap in that moment so broken item for sure mythic grapple i think everyone can agree on that next up we got grenade launcher and honestly another really good gun solid gun i i'm pretty much gonna put all the grenade launchers i think in practical because if you could get the perfect amount of distance like grenades which that was like a chapter one season one vibe was the grenade stacking thing i think they did it in season x as well but grenade launchers weren't really used in the same way and i feel like it'd be really interesting to see what grenade launchers would be like now in competitive but yeah 
Cool, nice, all-round gun, grenade launcher. I think everyone can agree about that. All right, next up, we go to the Deagle. And I love the Deagle, like straight off the bat. Uh, one of the funnest menace in the game was when Deagles could one-shot wood walls. And I know people hated that because you could do Deagle RPG and it would feel cheap because you wouldn't expect it. But it happened to you so often that you learn to expect. You hear an RPG and you have a wood wall. He's probably got a Deagle. So yeah, I like the Deagle gun. This hit like really high for me, but it did get nerfed and it did get the wood wall damage removed i think and then it kind of was just like whatever so for that reason i have to chuck it into practical if it still took out wood walls i'd put it in s tier but for the sake of that it's kind of like a, just a little bit more powerful revolver at this point. So practical for sure. Harpoon. Now, this one's an interesting one. It was like one of the only weapons we got in season one of chapter two. The utility of catching fish, which is necessary for like competitive games and pub games. And then you also have its utility in competitive niche a utility, I will add, that allows you to pick up mats and other items on the ground from a distance which is something that has never been done before in competitive i mean the fishing rod but it's the same deal but it actually way better than fishing rod so for that kind of like intuitiveness of like how it interacts with the game like i gotta rank it kind of high like it's borderline s tier but it's it's just off s tier in my opinion because it, you don't really use it in pubs but in competitive it is used highly in stacked lobbies but i'm not really a competitive player so I i'm gonna chuck it at practical nice practical cool gun all right next up we got the heavy shotgun when it first came out we thought it was really good and then we realized the base damage is like it, it's like if combat shotgun and pump shotgun had a baby it have this slightly higher fire rate than the pump shotgun, smaller reticle, and a little bit more range, but not as much range as the combat. I, I feel like the combat is just way better than it in every way, and the pump shotgun is way better than any way. The only way like this shotgun kind of shined was like when you were playing the jetpack game mode, I feel. And even then it wasn't great because combats were still better, but this is before they added combats. So I I'm gonna chuck it into like borderline off spawn viable big yikes. Like it just didn't hit the notes for me. But I'll chuck it off spawn viable because at first it was kind of like when they added it, it was such a big deal. So off spawn viable for sure for me. Uh, hunter rifle. Who doesn't like a hunter rifle? They had the legendary ones in the game uh, at the start of season two, I think. Yeah, it was season two. And we haven't had an LTM like since, by the way. It's been spy game for like 10 weeks straight hunter rifle really cool nice practical gun not s tier but definitely practical i think we'd have to say it feels so rewarding when you hit that headshot yeah nah love that one next up infantry rifle so when this was first added to the game bit of a yikes was not hit scan and it was just a worse ak in every way but once they changed it to hit scan and it was very accurate i think people saw a lot of attraction to that as like this kind of gun paired with the combat it was a very accurate meta when you think about it you had infantry rifles which were probably the most accurate assault rifle you'd ever have and then you had combat by shotguns which were the most accurate like shotguns you could have so interesting to say the least but yeah i'd say practical for sure i remember using this in world cup a couple times it was good you'd use it over bad assault rifles i think at times because you realistically you're only going to shoot the first couple shots at someone before you um fight so I, I liked it for that all righty here we go this is uh the interesting one got the infinity sword this one it like should be here this is the original version of it too by the way We're, i've split them up into the new version and the old version when it first came to the game this was like it, it was it, it was fun and i'm not even going to put this into who signed this off because even though this is the most deserving of that category i actually really liked it but it was frustrating to play against and that's why it kind of deserves this like category to say the least because it was so unfair versing someone with a sword and getting and acquiring the sword wasn't really intuitive it was kind of who can tank and or get the best drop which was what the infinity goal it wasn't thanos as well but but still good but i think the way that they've distributed mythics in the new season was a lot better than just having it pull out of the ground zelda vibes but you just absolutely destroy people. And then when they put it into the competitive, like, Winter Royale, people, like, didn't like watching it. But you watch that back now. That is so funny. Like, I mean, yeah, kids are losing tens of thousands of dollars to something that's overpowered. But just, like, the grin on your face if you've got the sword, though. You're just sing, sing, sing. And every shing, you're on, like, 10 grand or something. Just, like, oh, so good. I, I don't know if it's, like, 10 grand a kill. I don't know what the format was. But it was disgusting so for that reason i'm gonna chuck it into god weapon because i actually really like overpowered and chaotic stuff and it did have its counters balloons balloons countered infinity blade hard and there was nothing you can do if a kid had a balloon you, you have to hide 
and build. You can't do anything. And I feel like no one really found that out except me and like a couple other YouTubers because no one was running balloons. I love balloons, by the way, if you couldn't tell. So it did have its counters, but I feel like the internet just didn't figure it out in time. And then at that point, it was taken out of the game. Next up, we got lightsabers. So this is like kind of Infinity Blade 2.0, but obviously not as broken and, and not as good. Uh, I liked the combo kind of addition and how you could deflect bullets, especially the lightsaber ones. You could actually deflect and hurt people. That was sick. I'd put this down as a cool, practical, cool thing added to the game i wouldn't put it down necessarily as s tier but it never really made its way into competitive for good reason and it was very annoying to fight off against people with it like if they had it and they just blocked it was just like come on dude unless you had an rpg and then they just get yeeted on but yeah for that reason i put it in practical like it was good and it, the collaboration itself was cool i'm gonna go practical for that one that was pretty good all right next up we got lmg now this one when it came out it's pretty good uh, a couple people were chirping up saying that, that i didn't talk about this in the last one and how overpowered it was it wasn't overpowered i don't think the lmg because the accuracy long range was just a yikes but close range it was like an smg in the way that had the fire rate and the damage like 50 headshots it, it was literally a drum gun 2550 i think was kind of the conversion for the blue one or the purple one i think it was good but yeah i'd, I'd say practical it, it was practical as a gun definitely uh also by the way these are in no particular order any of these like the left one is not the best it's kind of just like within those categories Alrighty, next up we got the minigun now minigun when it first came out was really bad kind of laughable at that because it was like the trailer showed like the sick minigun that's just gonna like tear up and now it does but it didn't back before and it is really good right now in the current meta purple miniguns not even grotto purple minigun is really good and annoying to fight against so for that fact it's s tier i think we can all agree in the current meta it is s tier it is just such a good gun that like just tears things up oh another really good gun i think it deserves to go s tier personally just because i know controller players and players on pc with amazing tracking in the air can just destroy people it does have a lower dps than the scar variant but just that return to center speed and if they have a weak wood wall you can shoot and one will break the wall and like one or two bullets will get through before they can even turbo build the next wall which is like really good so for that reason I'm gonna check it in S tier. It is a good, it is a good assault rifle. But I put the scar above the orb personally. Mythic drum gun. Do we want to talk about it or do I just add it into the god weapon already? Like it, it, it is the drum gun and it is mythic. It shoots faster and it does more damage. And it's funny though, because I think the mythic drum gun is similar to what the first iteration of the drum gun was. Except back then everyone could get it and now only one person can, which is kind of funny. But it just goes to show like th this with a control player is something you never want to see because you're just getting melted it is disgusting pre-nerf because the controllers have been nerfed a little bit in the last couple weeks but i don't know if it's significant enough to still not be good with the drum gun so i'm gonna chuck that in god weapon i think we can all agree upon that next up we got the grotto minigun this thing is good for two things one when you're trying to build battle someone you can just shoot out the whole build before they even know what's going on especially if you're in competitive and someone's trying to take height against you this in an rpg almost guarantees height in most ways and it just drills people through walls this on controller again and another scary thing it's god weapon it's yeah it, it makes sense if minigun is s tier then grotto minigun is god same with the scar like it's gotta go into god as well it just does bits you know you shoot people out of the sky and it's not even the increased damage it's just the fire rate you're just bang 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 36 or 7 i think it is i think it's 7 you're just hitting kids with 37 everywhere absolutely nasty gun uh i think we can all agree god weapon and the fact that sky gives you both that and the grappler is just god lowdown and that's why shark is just the best poi for a loadout because that is disgusting combo two god weapons Ugh. next up we got mythic ak this is probably the only assault rifle or like weapon i guess you could say that isn't god weapon in my opinion i put it in s tier it's good it's a great assault rifle and when you hit a headshot it does nasty numbers and with a slightly increased fire rate but you can't really feel it as much as the others it's good but i don't think it's god weapon status like just underneath and i think s tier is kind of where it's at it's a good assault rifle but it's not better than these guys um and then we got the bow the new version of the bow so old version of the bow god tier 
New version. It has charges. It has a packed POI or sometimes packed POI and competitive to try and win. And sometimes just a heavy sniper is better than it in solos. But in duos, combining it with the heavy, the bow is sometimes, you know, a really good idea. I'd have to check it into practical. I don't, something about the new bow just doesn't hit for me. Like just the charges is a big problem. The damage nerf, 75 base damage. It is in every way a worse version of something that used to come out of a chest, which I find kind of interesting. I'm not really feeling that one too much. Practical, I think, is about right where I think. Alrighty, going back to it now, we got the new version of the Infinity Blade, which obviously after all the criticism of the God Weapon Blade, they put in some nerfs to it and put it back as LTMs. It never came back to the actual game, which I, I think it had a spot in the game. It just needed this kind of nerf where it was at. Where it's at now is you can't build and you don't get mats when you destroy things. So it was a nice enough nerf to make it kind of bad at the game. And it was a good nerf. It put it at the end of it, like as a good weapon that you could use, but it did have a lot of its downsides. Um, this, I think the new one, you know, not being able to build is like, you can't do that in competitive if you just bounce around in competitive now you're gonna get destroyed doing this so i think it's still good i put it up at s tier or maybe even practical like the nerf was pretty bad but you still have the 400 health and stuff like that so s tier but i'd love to see it back in the game actually now that i think about it we're gonna put infinity blade back down to who signed this off because that was a uh, bit of a yike all righty jump into some pistols we got the new revolver that got added basically an upgraded version of the uh old revolver uh, i think the fire rate was slightly higher the bullets were higher it's kind of like a deagle it shared a lot of similarities with the deagle i think but i think the crit did more than 150 which i don't know if the deagle still did it's cool wasn't amazing uh, i'll chuck it in practical i think it was practical wasn't great normal pistols i think this one's kind of easy to do it's like that nice off spawn viable gun it's your cookie cutter pistol you know and then for the purple and legendary version of the pistol i'd actually have to chuck them into practical these actually aren't that bad and could be substituted for an ar in the early game like the gold one i, I i'd probably put that up to like a green blue ar like it, it's good it's actually not that bad it's just that it's just not automatic so like if you're trying to switch into it after a shotgun you've got to like spam which can be annoying now this is a bit of a weird one we got the proximity grenade launcher this one was kind of weird no one really used it it was just really interesting i didn't play a lot of fortnite season x so i didn't play with it a lot i don't know what to say about this it was practical but it wasn't like god weapon or s tier it's just a different way of using a grenade launcher you could use it to get free damage sometimes which is why it was pretty good but it was but the reload speed and the rockets uh, it wasn't that amazing all right next up next up quad rocket launcher ladies and gentlemen this is th this was a gun back in the day i specifically like to recall that time where someone at fortnite was like yo let's do a percentage based rocket explosion damage behind walls and then they did it so it was like if you hit someone behind a wall with a quad rocket launcher i think the base damage is like 75 or was it 80 or 90 i forget what it was but then you'd hit them for 20 if they built up it was such a weird weird version of fortnite and i'm never gonna knock fortnite for trying things like that like i think that is a cool thing to try an experiment probably in an ltm but i think this was before ltms were kind of mainstream i loved the quad rocket launcher i'd personally love to see it back long reload time was a bit yikes but in team game modes it was so broken there's nothing worse than fighting two people and one of them using one of these because it just distracted it and made it so hard for you to fight them because you had to build to repair your walls or you're getting hit by the next rocket and also try and fight the guy in front of you for that reason i probably have to put it in s tier it was such a good gun rocket launcher was amazing in season zero amazing in chapter two season two i think we can all agree rpg has been a staple power weapon a staple s tier weapon i'd say just like being able to use it to just deal massive damage and just the meta of using it with combinations of shotguns so one meta of just shooting the rpg pulling your shotgun out preferably a pump because quicker equip times and just shooting as soon as the wall breaks before turbo build can rebuild the wall i love like innovative metas like that and just strategy so s tier the rpg for sure scoped revolver this one didn't really hit as much for me it was practical but it just was always dropped i'd, I'd prefer the normal revolvers because the rate of fire was so slow with this one i'm gonna chuck him into off spawn viable it wasn't that much of a vibe i don't think all right next up we got the pump shotgun and i don't know how to rank this one because back in the day is s tier like obviously double pump bang bang and the blue one is decent but the gray one is so bad so i'm gonna 
meat might in the middle here and rank it as the green one where it is right now, which you would always pick attack shotgun over. I think we can all agree upon that. So yeah, given that if I'm ranking a green pump and all the history that it had behind it, it, it goes under practical. It's not S tier. But the Spaz, it's the only shotgun in the game to deal 200. So uh, an insta dead shot and for that reason i think it's gotta go under s tier or god weapon because it is just that staple thing it's like i got a spaz and then it's uh, it just the vibe it's a it's a vibe though it's like someone in the in you're playing comp and someone's like i got spaz and it's like all right it's a vibe now i'd have to say this one goes up pretty high i don't know if it's god weapon that's, that's what I'm trying to discover right now. I, I think it is. I'm going to chuck up his god weapon. Like, it's just what, especially the gold one. 100 plus damage, body shot. I love it. And then we got the tack, the upgraded tack. That's similar. Obviously, the gold one can't deal 200 damage, but nearly that. I think 187 and a half, I think is what it does, or 190 something. Very close. It has a slower equip animation. Kind of annoying to try and get out when you need it. But the upside is that it has a much higher rate of fire, and it also does way more damage to walls. So you, a lot of people use it to take walls off players, which I actually really like that strategy. I'd chuck him in S here. Nice, solid gun. I don't know if it's God Weapon. Now, the tax. I really like the tax. I'd go tack over pump in almost everything, but when it gets to the purple and legendary, it starts to get a little interesting. And I like that the variance is there in those two. It's kind of like, oh, the situational items of which one and your play style. I'd probably chuck this just on a practical, the tax. Like, nothing really know what to say about them. It's, it's practical. It's kind of like the assault rifle. It, it does what it does. I would have to put him in front of the pump because I'd always pick attack over the same color pump. The blue one, though, is a little interesting. Blue pump, I might sometimes pick over the attack, but that's kind of the same as the spaz and the upgrade attack. All right, getting to the end here. Next up, we got the six shooter pistol. This one is definitely, without a doubt, big yikes or who signed this off because it is such a bad gun. I could put it down as the worst gun in the game because you could either do single shots or you could hold it down and it would do rapid fire and you couldn't aim anywhere. I'll check it into big yikes. Like, it just is big yikes at range and even at close range it just wasn't good and here we go we're going a little bit of throwback here near the end we got the original smg one of the few guns that isn't in the game in any aspect in any way so for this bad boy i probably chuck him into off spawn viable its range was shocking but the rat rapid fire was good i honestly forget how it plays now that i think about it because no one's played with this gun in over two years i think for that reason i'm not sure where to put it so i'm gonna chuck it into off spawn viable because that's probably what it was all right i moved this one up because i really want to see this one uh so it was only like really one reference of gameplay footage they went in the game and they took it out like almost immediately apparently like i was playing a lot of fortnite at the time but i never got this thing and that's the zapatron um another gun that has never been seen in the game since and when i think about it it's one of those things that fortnite players know about it's something fortnite's sitting on like you know how they sat on recon expert for three years they're sitting on zapatron i think that's the last thing they got for like pure nostalgia and they'll probably chuck it in the next couple years i reckon but at the time you charged it up and it did 150 damage it's like heavy sniper vibes and because i don't know a lot about the gun i don't know how it works i don't know if it was like an area of effect or if it was like a bullet i just don't know i think on the nostalgia and the history of it alone i think we have to chuck in a god weapon i mean you see the clip it looks nasty there but that is also what a heavy sniper looked like two months ago so not that crazy. Let me know what you think about Zapatron. I'd love to see it back in the game, just for the memes. All right, next up, we got the SMG, the unsuppressed version of the SMG. The one currently in the game is good. The blue SMG controller. We watch out. Even just normal mouse and keyboard. I love the blue SMG. And for that, I had borderline chuck it into S tier, but that's where the P90 belongs to be. P90 is God weapon. You know, the gray and blue ones aren't that hot. I, I think I just, for that reason alone, have to chuck it in a practical. It's good, not crazy good. Now, this rapid fire SMG, they got added in the new season i have to check it into off spawn viable i did a challenge with it the other day the henchman one where i had to use it as my smg for a little bit just didn't hit the right spots it I feel like if the ammo was 30 it might be good but the ammo with the low damage it very much so reminds me of this smg and uh, i think that's the appropriate tier for it next up is the suppressed smg which actually i played with again the other day and it is still in a decent spot i feel but i think overshadowed by the the fire rate of the other smg and like the thing with the suppressed weapons in fortnite they just don't hit the same as they do in normal brs like i remember the silencer in PUBG was a massive deal you got a silencer attachment 
whoa, he's stacked. Like not knowing where you get shot from in PUBG is a big thing. In Fortnite, kind of like, you know where they are all the time. Not very many times you get hit and you're like, where are they? Because of the damage indicator and stuff like that. I feel like if suppressed weapons remove damage indicators, then they could be probably a resurgence in that kind of meta. But like, you're always close to some of the suppressed SMG. You can always hear where it's at. I feel like that's kind of useless. So I'd probably... Chuck Offspawn Viable. I don't think it's better than the current SMG. I think Offspawn Viable is probably where it was. But at one point, it was ridiculously broken and probably S tier. There was a period where it was a laser. And at that time, I would say S tier, but that was pre P90 and stuff like that. So Offspawn Viable, I think, is where it's at now. Tack SMG. Oh boy, this kind of stayed OP since the start. And I, oh, dude, I couldn't imagine control players with this right now. The legendary Tack SMG was just nuts. Obviously, you could only get it out of the stars back in Star Suburbs to get it. And that was like kind of a cool way of putting it into the game. I think it goes without saying that this would probably be S tier. It's probably not as good as the P90, but better than the normal SMG. So I think S tier is probably the best place to put it. Alrighty, we got the Dragonov looking VSS looking suppressed sniper rifle automatic. I would label this bra moment. It was such a bad gun. Wasn't in the game for very long, obviously because it sucked. And it wasn't hit scan again, like the infantry rifle. So I think for that reason, it's got to go into big yikes. Like, just didn't get used nor should it really have been used it just didn't do the justice for me next up heavy snipers one of the funnest weapons to have in both competitive and pubs like i loved this gun now pre nerf i think it was a god weapon and broken it was just too good if someone didn't have 150 health plus so you needed more than 150 which means you had to have pretty much 200 or maybe a chip damage from someone to put you at 180 being under 157 was a big yikes in competitive because you could just be one shot like that like you could be as good as you can at the game but you can't really dodge heavy sniper shots all the time. And so for that reason, I'd have to chuck it into S tier. It's still a really good gun. And sometimes I'll use it over RPG in my current games in season two because it, uh, 126, I feel like is a very fair amount of damage and still uses it to breach walls and take walls off by surprise. And you can still double heavy snipe walls. They didn't reduce the damage it does to builds. So it's still S tier gun in my opinion. Next, we got the classic bolt. This was, you know, a big thing in season one of chapter two. Uh, and of course, the whole of chapter one. Good gun. I remember near the end of it, I was really getting good at landing headshots with this because just landing a headshot was just the, like, oh, so good. Uh, I'd check it in practical. Like, it was good. It was practical. And at one point, it was the best sniper in the game, but not as good as the heavy sniper. And I think even the current one versus the heavy sniper, the, the, this is still better than heavy. Scout sniper rifle. For some reason, this just didn't hit for me. I'm gonna have to chuck it in off spawn viable. It just didn't hit. Like, it just didn't work for me. And now they made the scope further out zoom. That's a pass for me, Chief. Even in the only sniper game modes, it's still not as good as a hunter rifle. So yeah, I think he's in a good spot there. Next I'm gonna grab is the suppressed sniper rifle. In the current game, the perp one does under 100, which makes sense because the reload is really fast. And even in like competitive and pubs, I'll take it. Sometimes it's actually really good to just hit people for 100 or 95 as you start a fight. So for that reason, I'd say practical. And it's got a really quick reload so you can keep taking shots and try and line up that headshot, which still does one tap. Next up, we got the scout sniper rifle. This came out in a very short period of time of Fortnite, and I didn't play with it at all. It kind of got leaked in the game early too, like Christmas presents and creative, but I'm not sure how I felt about it as a gun, but as the utility of it shown in the next zone, I know was massive and competitive, even though I didn't play competitive at all back then. So for that reason, just how innovative it was, I know in like trios, it was like a must carry to see the next zone because that's just so broke. I'd say for just how innovative and cool it was, S tier, I'd never use it in a game. I think I'd use it because I think we had heavies at the time when it was in there. So I'd always try and get a heavy over that. I just like how they worked that in. Because obviously they had that storm tracker back bling that never got out of the game. And they kind of just worked it into a gun. I feel like it was much more uh, suitable. Uh, next up, we got a snowball launcher. I think this is pretty unanimous. Going and practical. Same as the eggshell one. It was cool. And I liked the little hee hee noise they made. That was fun. That was also like season two when like the Christmas update came out. And it was like, I don't know, iconic. I'd say practical. And you can stack them up easier than the grains, I think. I liked it. Next up, we got the suppressed pistols. Uh, I reckon with these baddies, at one point they were practical and they have better accuracy than the normal pistols themselves. They're almost like the upgraded pistols in the game right now. Fun fact actually about the suppressed pistols, at the start of the season, the henchmen at the agency with the suppressed sniper rifles used to drop these and then they changed them. And now you can no longer get suppressed pistols anymore. That's a fun fact. Probably no one really noticed that, but I noticed that. I never really got to play with them in that way, but I played them in the silence only game modes. You can get a good burst because the bloom is not bad. I'd probably chuck it. 
practical. But then we got last, but definitely not least, the thermal scoped assault rifle. Now, before I do that, though, I do know that I have missed one gun here, and that is the legendary and epic infantry rifle. That gun would go into S tier, just being able to have the higher clip size and that. If I've missed a gun, please do let me know. Only guns, though. No, like, items like uh, rift junks and stuff like that, because that'd be for the separate video if we had 100k likes. But yeah, thermal scoped assault rifle. Really awesome gun that got added to the game, I thought, when I read the patch notes to the update, and then I used it and found out the fire rate was so slow, and they never changed it the whole time. They never really had it in combination with smoke grenades, which would have made it have some niche meta. It didn't even have that, because they never coexisted with smoke grenades in the game at the same time. So for that reason, Reason, I'd probably have to put it down as a big yikes. I wouldn't even use it off spawn. The slow fire rate would ruin you. Yeah, I feel like the fire rate needed to get increased or like have a reason for the thermal scope because the thermal scope really didn't mean that much. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be my tier list for all the Fortnite weapons. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I think I did a pretty decent job here. There's probably a few adjustments that you guys may have, but again, it all comes down to personal preference and opinion. Um, and this is my opinion. Like I said, again, if you guys want to see me do one with all the items and can consumables within Fortnite. Let me know. Chuck us a like rating down below. Of course, 100k likes. Make it happen. And aside from that, if you guys want to support me in game, that's going to be code Locky hashtag ad. Don't forget, new battle pass coming out soon. So make sure you're supporting at least a creator and don't let it go to waste. But aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time for another awesome Fortnite video. Later, guys.